everybody, my name is Kaleb Lember, and um, I'm, uh, I've been uh, uh, working on GNOME software for a while now. And, uh, and uh, I'm not sure if everybody knows what GNOME software is. GNOME software is uh, this really nice piece of software that um, can install applications. And uh, one of the things it, uh, it does is, is that it tries to uh, make apps look really nice in uh, uh, it has to. It, it tries to make apps look nice, so people would want to install uh, them. And uh, there's a, there's a lot of uh, um, uh, there's a there's, there's a lot of uh, screenshots and uh, and uh, icons and uh, heavy reliance on graphics uh, to make uh, apps look uh, good. And uh, and every app that shows up in GNOME software. Is uh, is supposed to have uh, have nice descriptions so that people actually know what they are getting into when they install something. And um, uh, GNOME software uh, GNOME software is basically uh, the um, the application center that is written for Fedora Workstation. It's uh, it's written uh, by Richard Huge, and I've been uh, hacking on it as well. And uh, and it's uh, it's used on Fedora Workstation. Uh, uh, I think for like four or five releases now, and uh, and uh, started to work pretty well by now. We fixed a lot of bugs and uh, and made it uh, try to make it look good. Um, the technology behind it is that it uses uh, package kit uh, to actually install software. And uh, and it, it has a few other mechanisms as well to install stuff, but package kit is the main one. And uh, and uh, in addition to what the uh, RPMs, uh, in addition to the uh, metadata that the RPMs contain, uh, there's uh, there's an, another uh, side channel that provides uh, uh, screenshots and uh, application descriptions, and it's called App Stream. Uh, and uh, and all of GNOME software is uh, application centric, uh, as opposed to uh, being uh, package centric, because uh, because it's written for Fedora Workstation, and Fedora Workstation is a graphical thing, right? So um, so we 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 we, uh, we are uh, mainly concentrating on installing applications uh, through there, and application is something uh, that we define as. Uh, as something that has a desktop launcher and can be uh, it has a window and as opposed to a terminal that will run. Right. So um, um, uh, when I put together this talk, I was uh, trying to um, make it a more practical thing to to uh, so that people could come to this talk and. And uh, learn how to uh, how to uh, uh, how to add support for their app uh, so that it shows up properly in uh, in our app installer. So uh, the, the technology uh, for this is called um, App Data. It's uh, just a small XML file that is uh, that is uh, shipped uh, in RPM packages, and that XML file uh, uh, describes the app. It has uh, descriptions for the app. It has it references uh, screenshots, and um, and yeah, basically that's it. And it's it's really really easy to uh, write. Uh, so what I'd like to do today is just to go through the process of writing one uh, for an app data uh, file, just to just to show how it's done, because it's. Really is easy and, and makes makes apps uh, look much nicer in GNOME software. Um, so the previous uh, thing I mentioned was app data, but there's another very similar concept called app stream. The difference between those is that app stream is actually what GNOME software co consumes, uh, and app data is the one that individual packages uh, contain. So what happens is that um, is that uh, all the individual app data files that packages ship are combined together into one big XML file called AppStream metadata. 
and uh, that is supposed to be distributed uh, alongside uh, regular YAM uh, metadata or DNF metadata. Uh, also, uh, during this process, um, the, um, the the process that collect that extracts all the uh, descriptions and screenshots, it, it also uh, mirrors the screenshots and caches uh, them on the Fedora infrastructure. Uh, so, which m which m makes it possible, like if you have uh, your own web server, you can uh, easily upload uh, the screenshots there for your own app. And uh, you can be sure that uh, when someone accesses that screenshot through GNOME software, it actually cache uses the cached copy on the Fedora server and it doesn't go downloading it directly from your, from your web server and, um, and uh, doesn't uh, DDoS it or bring it down to its knees because so much bandwidth usage. Uh, also, the screenshot caching uh, is good for privacy because people can then, because third parties can't then uh, track uh, what, what people are searching. It's uh, only the Fedora infrastructure that has that, uh, has that uh, info. So, um, um, the current state of AppStream metadata is, uh, is that uh, we aren't actually shipping it uh, alongside with YAM metadata, but uh, there's a plan to, uh, to starting to doing it uh, really, really soon now. Uh, so what's happening right now is that uh, instead of shipping it with the YAM metadata, uh, it's, there's uh, actually a separate package that has the AppStream data, and it's manually updated like once a month or so. It's, it's not uh, ideal, but uh, it, it works because uh, we don't get uh, so many new applications uh, every so often and, and the old uh, descriptions still work. So um, if you're writing your uh, new app data and it doesn't show up in Fedora uh, instantly, this is why, because it, there's a manual process involved for regenerating the, the metadata package. Right, so how to, how to ship uh, an update in your package um, and why? So it's needed just to make sure that your app looks as good as possible in uh, GNOME software. And, uh, and it's also required because uh, we decided that, um, that it's, it, it is really important uh, that we only show good apps and so we are only showing those apps that actually have metadata and actually look good. And, and as it turns out, it's actually a lot of apps uh, that have met, have app data by now. It's uh, I'm not sure the exact numbers, but it's close to ninety percent for GNOME apps and maybe fifty for KDE. Ah, I actually I'm not sure if the numbers are right. I I was uh, writing those slides on a plane uh, uh, last night over the Atlantic, and uh, I have no uh, connection to actually look up the numbers, but uh, I, it's roughly in that ballpark. So, and app data writing is, uh, is really simple. It's just one XML file to edit and add a, f add a few lines and take a screenshot and that's it. Uh, 